Hello, it certainly is good to be able to come back into your presence, bringing you a thought for today from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church. Today, I want to bring you a thought that I've titled, You Need Others and Others Need You. In Exodus chapter 17, verse 12, we read these words. But Moses' hands grew weary, so they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it while Aaron and Hur held up his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side. So his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. If we relate to that story, we will find that as long as Moses' hands were up, that they were winning a battle. But when his hands grew weary and they would fall, the battle was going the other way. So two, two individuals, Aaron and Hur, one on one side, one on the other, held his hands up so that Israel could win the battle. You know, with those thoughts in mind, people are social beings. As a part of humanity, you need to realize that you need others, and others need you. Listen, from appearances, others may seem uh, to need you or, or to want you. However, when I generally speak, we all need each other. No matter who you are or where you are, you are needed. Now listen to me, friend. For most people, your mental, physical, and emotional health require for you to be a part of a group of people who care about you, someone who you can relate to, someone who you can fellowship with, someone who you can be with. Now, statistically speaking, people who feel isolated have three to five times the mortality rate, regardless of physical condition, over those who are not isolated. So find the people who need you and join them and enjoy the fellowship of your fellow man. Find people who want to be around you and who you want to be around. You need to search for a while, or you may rather need to search for a while, but your search will pay off. Good fellowship and involvement with mankind is so important. Find those who you can share your faith with. Uh, volunteer opportunities abound in every church of the living God, uh, in every social agency, uh, in hospitals and, and hospices and uh, there's just so much opportunity out there for you to get outside the walls of your house and to be involved in your world. Now, in being a part of a group, you have the opportunity to express and to give away the precious love of God and your benefits of uh, will return to you in immeasurably form. Oh, my friend, if Aaron and Hur had not lifted up the hands of Moses, Israel would have lost the battle. Oh, is there someone out there that you can go out to, to and lift up their arms to help them through life? You need others, and others need you. Father, today I pray for that one who may be in the depth of loneliness. God, that you would open opportunities for them to get among others and to share with others. Now, Lord, give us a great day in Christ today that others may see him in our lives. And we'll give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you today as you go out into the world and seek to minister and to be with others.